What do we need if we want to build a guitar out of noodles? Well, firstly, noodles. Lots of noodles. Lots and lots of noodles. And 5 kg of epoxy resin and the usual parts that a guitar has. For this project, I've purchased the Harley Benton Telecaster kit, which already has all components we need, including the body which we need for our mold. So at first, we need a nice mold in which we can cast the epoxy resin and the noodles. For this purpose, I've purchased over 10 kg of impression silicon directly from the factory. I didn't want to have a neck pickup with a pick guard on this guitar, which would ruin the look in my opinion. So I've already covered the hole with pink silicon. At this point I had to discover that wood even floats in silicon, so I had to come up with a quick solution and that was building a tripod out of styrofoam and use it with some weight on it. At first I tried to cover up this imperfection with this pink silicon, because I didn't have any of the white silicon left. But that didn't work out. Don't mess with different types of silicon. After the mold is finished, we can proceed with the front and the back of the guitar. This is where the ultraviolet powder comes into play. UV powder is usually very expensive, but fortunately we only need a few grams. Because we don't need the whole guitar to light up, we only need a few millimeters in the front and in the back. We need 40 grams of powder for the dark blue in the front and another 40 grams of powder for the green in the back. This green is much brighter than the blue in the front and acts like sort of a backlight. Now it's time for the noodles. Make sure that you only use high quality certified tone noodles for this
For better stability on the bridge, we drill these holes to the bottom and fill them with epoxy resin. I like to go as simple as possible, so for the electronics we only have the volume knob in the signal chain. And here we are with the world's first noodle guitar.